Hi everybody and welcome back to Harry's Music Room. As you can probably tell, uh, this is going to be a Christmas related video. And I thought I would show all of my uh, Christmas albums. But I'm going to start with one reel-to-reel -reel tape that I made myself. I just found the artwork online, made the box. And then uh, I put all of these songs onto a reel-to-reel -reel tape. So, <clears throat> let's get started with the vinyl. First up, we have, these are in no particular order. Eric Clapton's Double LP, Happy Xmas. I don't know why I buy a lot of Christmas records, because, you know, you only play them a couple of weeks out of the year. But uh, I do, so I enjoy them, the, the little bit that I play them. Uh, this particular one is on, I believe it's on white vinyl. Let's see. Oh, red. Red and green, of course. So we have red and green vinyl for this one. Next up, we have a Christmas Soul Special. And this is on QAG Records, which I've never heard of. But you can see, let's see if you can see who's on this. Uh, Wilson Pickett, Mary Wells, Benny King. You can see them there. Don't judge me. Okay, I bought this because it was on sale for like, I don't know, like $9 or something last year. Target did their uh, closeout on their Christmas albums. So this year, after the holidays, get in there because they marked down all their Christmas records. One of the classics, one of the great, great classic Christmas albums. And then a very special Christmas with the gold foil, kind of like that cover. Next we have, uh, actually this is a really good compilation, Americana Christmas. It's got uh, Luther Dick Dickinson, Robert Ellis, Emmylou Harris, Johnny Cash, Corb Lund, Valerie June, Bob Dylan. Um, <clears throat> ben and Keith with Neil and Peggy Young, Max Gomez, who is one of my, my more recent discoveries when it comes to Americana, old 97s, and the band. And I think if you go to New West right now, they might have this on sale. I think New West is doing a, a, a large sale on their records. This is a promotional record from Warner Brothers. It's got a few Christmas songs, and then it's got, like, greetings from various people. Some of the greetings are only 5 to 15 seconds long. And it's uh, typically the, the greetings that the people say I have to do with uh, Merry Christmas and Please Don't Drive Drunk, that kind of stuff. This is... Uh, one of a few different Charlie Brown Christmas records that I've got. This one has the embossed cover. This one, um, get the price tag off here. I don't know why I left that. I don't like leaving price tags on my records. This has the uh, lenticular inserts, not actually the, the cover itself, it's just the insert. Charlie Brown Christmas number two. Um, this one is, I put my holiday records together, so this ends up in there with the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. This is a Black Friday record I just picked up, which has become a absolute classic by these two. You got to wonder, how did this ever come together? Um, what, a, what a pairing, huh? 
And then we have the Carpenters, of course. One of the most beautiful voices in pop music. And then one of my favorite bands, absolutely a top five band for me, the Monkees. The Monkees have a Christmas 45 with a picture sleeve that I've never been able to uh, find at a decent price. And I don't want to pay what, what it's going for, so I don't have it. And then we have uh, Holiday, Holiday's Rule. I haven't opened this yet. I just got it. A um, bunch of different artists on there. Primarily, I got it because they had Paul McCartney. This is the kind of stuff I really enjoy when it comes to Christmas music, and that's the not the traditional stuff you normally hear, but I like the more obscure uh, Christmas songs. I have this on CD, so I haven't opened the vinyl yet, but I, I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin all these this year. This is a recent pickup for me. I've never heard it before. have not yet played this one, but I will. I will be playing it soon. Emmy Lou Harris. And then Freddie Fender, Feliz Navidad. And I'm a Freddie Fender fan, primarily because of uh, Doug Som. And then we have a 12-inch promo of the Eagles. Please come home for Christmas and Funky New Year. And then we have a 10-inch Merry Christmas, Bing Crosby. Bing has one of the biggest selling records of all time with White Christmas. Next, we have a rock and Christmas, the 50s. And like I've said of many times, if you watch the live streams or any of my videos, if it's rock and roll, it should have a saxophone. And then another classic, Nat King Cole, the Christmas song. Avert your eyes if you're one of those people. <laughs> Again, this was on closeout. I think I got it for less than $15 last year. And we get into the Elvis. Uh, this one still has the Elvis calendar in it. It is open. I have played it many times. As you can see, it's a calendar. The biggest selling Christmas album of all time is the original Elvis Christmas album. Which is not this one, but the, um, it should be coming up here soon. Believe it or not, that Josh Groban is the second biggest selling Christmas album of all time. Look how young he is. And then another of the Rhino Good Guys Collector's Edition. And then another one called A Rockin' Christmas. This one is Columbia Special uh, Products. You've got a bunch of people that you probably wouldn't normally listen to, but uh, they're on the Christmas album. And then uh, this one was another one that was on sale that I picked up. Dolly, she is a 
fantastic artist. She's written, I don't know, these. I think I read 300 plus songs. She's a great songwriter. Another one that was on closeout from Target. Otherwise, I would not have bought it. And I have not opened this and played it yet. This one will get played this year. It's got a sticker here. I'm assuming that there were no song titles on the back of the jacket. So the, the hype sticker got put on there so people knew what it contained. This is another one that was on closeout from Target. This is an original from the 60s, still in shrink wrap. The Sound of Frankie Valley. The Minus Five. I haven't uh, opened all these because I like to keep it the way I, I just don't want to open them. It's got all these little windows, you know, what do they call them? Advent calendars. But, uh, I've not opened that, but here's your song titles. This is a really good Christmas album. Really good. I got this one from the New West website last year. Uh, or no, Barnes & Noble. Um, autographed edition. A 10-inch picture disc of Ernie Kovacs. Some of the classic Christmas songs by Johnny Mathis. Pictured here with Ernie Freeman. In Harmony 2, which is a must for me because it's got Bruce's uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is a really cool promo 45. And the promo 45 has a picture sleeve similar to this. Pretty collectible Springsteen item. Then this just came out this year, a 10-inch of Greg Lake's I Believe in Father Christmas. This one was another of the markdowns from Target last year. Another one that I got from Target. I'll be going there again this year after the holidays to see what they do. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch. And then this is a series. Uh, this is volume one. Very cool Christmas from Music on Vinyl. Great collection of, of uh, hearts. Some of them are pretty hard to find. So this is volume one. Volume two. And volume three I have on the way. It will be here this week. I just finally ordered it very good highly recommended the music on vinyl cool Christmas series and then what may possibly be the best Christmas album of all time the Phil Spector Christmas album and this one is on Apple Records it needs to be clean look at I see a lot of dirt on there have not played this one in a long time. So this will definitely get played this year after I clean it. <laughs> NRBQ, A Christmas Wish EP. Good, good record. And then uh, one of the local DJs here in Seattle for the last, I don't know, 25, 30 years maybe. Bob Rivers, he has a whole series of twisted Christmas records. I have them all on CD, but this is the only uh, vinyl pressing I have. The 12 Pains of Christmas, 
the chimney saw, oh, there's something in the chimney. And uh, you got to hear it. <laughs> um, we wish you weren't living with us. Wreck the malls. Uh, what's the, oh, come all you grateful deadheads. I'm dressing up like Santa when I get out on parole. Uh, joy to the world. <laughs> and the message from the king. The one I like is uh, um, uh, the takeoff on driving drunk at Christmas. It's uh, I forget exactly which one it is now. Um, oh, and then there's walking around in women's underwear. Walking around in women's underwear. Uh, this was a record store day release on red vinyl. This one goes for quite a bit of money. Uh, last I looked, I think it was going for around $75. Another one, a really good, really good Christmas album, Rodney Crowell. And this is one that I did buy from the uh, from the New West website. They offered a signed copy. And I think they, you can still get them. If you go to the New West site, I think they still have some signed copies for sale. Excellent, excellent album. And then uh, getting back to the greatest... Christmas album of all time. I have a picture disc of the Phil Spector Christmas album. And then it's Christmas time with Hank Thompson country album. And surprisingly a very good album. If you haven't heard Ringo's Christmas album. I do recommend you pick it up. And then the original pressing of the Staples Singers, 25th day of December. And then we have Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Boy, is that a typical 1960s Christmas photo right there, or what? Look at that. And then we have another rocking Christmas, or rocking little Christmas. Some good stuff on here. Chuck Berry, The Moon Glows. I like that Moon Glow song. Surfing with Santa. I'm going to lasso Santa Claus, Brenda Lee. And then, of course, you've got to have the Frank Sinatra album. This is another one I bought on sale on Closeout. I have not played it yet. If anybody's heard it, let me know. But I will give it a spin. And then we have Rhythm and Blues Christmas. Charles Brown, the Drifters, the Orioles. You know, I'm, I have an older brother who really turned me on to uh, 50s, uh, especially doo-wop. Um, there's a lot of that stuff I really like. So I enjoy this one here. And then for the last record, the biggest selling Christmas record of all time, right there. The Christmas album, and this one is on green vinyl, 50th anniversary. You can hear my dog Rosie, she wants to be part of this video. So that does it for my Christmas albums, and uh, I think I'll do a, one for the CDs as well. So I want to thank you for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. It uh, gives me that inspiration to keep doing more videos. If you haven't subbed up uh, and you enjoy what you what you see me put out here, uh, go ahead and hit the sub button. I appreciate it. Until next time, Merry Christmas and ciao.